Hay Buster has been a part of hard-working tub grinders since the late 1960s. Farmers, ranchers, and commercial grinders have come to depend on the durability and performance from Hay Buster. This commitment to our customers and our ability to listen to them has been instrumental in the development of a premier line of tub grinders. Hay Buster is proud to offer four high capacity commercial tub grinders. Engineered and designed for the professional custom operator. The truck mounted 1150, 1150 with grapple loader, the fifth wheel trailer 1155, and the 1155 with grapple loader. The guidelines for designing these tub grinders led us to a new concept. We call it MDM, or Modular Design and Manufacturing. The main benefit of MDM is component and parts commonality. This makes the Haybuster line easier to understand and service. Ultimately, MDM means that you get a high quality machine with superior performance. We start with the subframe or backbone and then install the submodules, the engine, fluid coupler, hammer mill, tub platform, tub, conveyor, the engine housing, and the optional grapple loader. This modular design then allows us to mount the grinder module to either a truck or a trailer platform. Power is provided by a C15 Caterpillar diesel engine. It's state-of-the-art, electronic, fuel injection system, decreased fuel consumption, yet pumps out 475 or 540 horsepower tier three. Strong enough to chew through those tough, wet bale bottoms, plus all of the features you've come to expect from Caterpillar, like reliability, cold weather starting, unsurpassed product support, and proven resale value. We've also enclosed the engine compartment to reduce noise and control airflow. Our exclusive self-cleaning rotary screen keeps fresh, clean air coming in and dust and debris out. As air is drawn in, it passes over and around the engine on its way to the ground. This airflow discourages ground material fines from building up on the engine's nooks and crannies. No more plugged radiators, so less downtime. And we make sure that access to the engine is still easy with a three-door entry on both sides plus a front door to the radiator. We also placed the engine air filters inside the engine housing to help reduce maintenance. Eliminate the clutch and the problems go away. Our commercial operators needed a better way for the engine to couple to the hammer mill, one that would be goof proof so anybody could run it. Engage or disengage at full engine RPM without damage. Require minimal maintenance with no special tools or adjustments. Be extremely rugged with shock and overload protection. Provide longer life and protect that big cat engine. We found what we needed with the Transfluid model KPT fluid coupler. Here's how it works. Two impellers face each other inside a chamber. One is attached to the engine, the other to the hammer mill. They are separated by only a quarter of an inch. When the hammer mill is engaged, fluid from a reservoir is pumped in and around the impellers. As the fluid fills the chamber, the spinning impeller from the engine forces the other impeller to start turning. To disengage, the fluid is simply pumped out of the impeller chamber, breaking the fluid coupling. The hammer mill will not immediately stop, but will dissipate inertia and slowly lose RPMs until it comes to a complete stop. Fluid coupling is far superior to that of a normal clutch. It offers more protection to the hammer mill and engine. Even under a full load, the fluid coupler can break its connection without causing damage to itself. The Big Bite Hammer Mill is located at the rear of the subframe. The rear mounted hammer mill has some great benefits. It reduces the length of the belly conveyor. It improves the belly conveyor service accessibility, and it moves the dust farther away from the operator. The Haybuster Hammer Mill is dynamically balanced. It's mounted on a stress-proof shaft and suspended by oil-filled bearings. All of this adds up to smoother operation, longer life, and less maintenance. The 88 Big Bite Hammers are hard-surfaced, have four grinding edges, 
and are firmly secured to the hammer mill by rods. The hammers grind by striking material and forcing it through the screens. And Haybuster offers a wide assortment of round hole screen sizes. More than likely, we have the right size for you. Another two important features are the mill grate and the electronic governor. The mill grate is installed over the hammer mill feed opening and prevents slugs of material from entering. The amount of material that's being fed into the hammer mill is controlled by the rotating of the tub. When a tough, wiry bale finds its way in, the electronic governor will slow down the tub automatically, again reducing stress on the hammer mill, fluid coupling, and engine. Through years of experience, Haybuster has found that a belt conveyor is the most effective way of moving product because it can handle a wide variety of material types, cut lengths, and moisture content. Directly underneath the hammer mill is the belly conveyor, which gets the product moving towards the rear. Product then moves onto a stacking conveyor. It's 30 inches wide by 26 feet long, which means you can make a big pile. But what makes this conveyor really useful is that it can articulate through a 50 degree range. Now, not only can you make the pile big, but wide too without repositioning the grinder. It also makes filling bunkers or loading trucks easier. When it's time to move to the next job, the discharge conveyor folds up and is neatly stored above the tub. The grapple unit is stored in the tub for transport. All of the controls and gauges for operation are located on the central command console. When it's not in use, it's protected by a folding door. The command console is also hinged to provide access for service and to install options. All operation controls that are in the command console are in the cab on the grapple loader. There is also a rear console to control the conveyor. Hay Buster's commercial tub grinders have an appetite for hay, whether it's round, square, or loose hay. But these grinders are also hungry for grain. Hay Buster offers an optional grain grinding hopper it directs the flow of grain into the hammer mill and prevents geysering. Select your screen size, position the auger, and unload the truck or bin. It's time to grind some grain. The 7000 series grapple loader is an option available on both the 1150 and the 1155 commercial tub grinders. The loader arm and the grapple have a 29-foot reach. The grapple has replaceable teeth which opens wide to 8 feet 4 inches to handle the large round or square bales as well as loose hay. The climate controlled cab rotates 270 degrees and raises 4 feet hydraulically to get the operator at the optimum height for an unobstructed view of the grinding operation. The joystick controls are mounted in the operator's seat and all the grinding control functions are accessible from the seat as well. The hydraulic stabilizer legs offer increased stabilization for the grinding operation. The optional scale on the grapple arm weighs individual bales and accumulates the weight as the operator feeds the grinder. The loose hay guide cleans the lip of the tub and discourages hay from spilling over. It also discourages hay from being pushed onto the engine housing. A handy seven-function remote allows you to get out of the dust and still be in control. It controls tub rotation, conveyor lift, conveyor articulation, engine stop, and throttle. The geyser plate kit prevents geysering by directing the upflow material from the hammer mill against the tub wall. Further customize your tub grinder with an ear corn kit, conveyor discharge guide, or magnetic roller kit. For more information on the 1150, 1150 with grapple loader, the 1155, and the 1155 with grapple loader, contact your authorized Haybuster dealer or call our office at 701-252-4601. And be sure to check out Haybuster for all of our great products, including bale processors, commercial and PTO tub grinders, rock pickers, and grain drills at www.haybuster.com. Haybuster, the innovation continues.